What's up YouTube? This is Spade here, back again with another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. And today I bring you one uh, older, rarely used match. Haven't done RU in a while, actually. For realsies. Haven't actually done RU match in like a couple of months, but I found this one. Older match, decided to record it, and uh, it was actually pretty interesting. Kind of weird at the end, but uh, not gonna spoil anything else, so let's just get this battle started. I have no idea who who is against me in this match because yeah old match and the guy didn't tell me his name but anyways we both lead off with a uh, fighting type guys who have fake out fake out but he's obviously faster and then he has protect so I'm like okay I guess what they say is true are you is stolly so I go into my um or oh, quillfish yes to pretty much wall him because uh, I know that he apparently is not running elemental punches which is, you know, cool, because, yeah, now my uh, Quillfish is pretty much going to wall him for this entire match, so that's cool. But uh, in comes E-Wire, and E-Wire sucks, but, uh, you know, I don't have the Intimidate on that thing, so I'm gonna switch out. But I see the Sob, so uh, I'm pretty sure that he this is the set that Scott is running, so he's gonna have Focus Punch. So I'm gonna predict that, switch out Ferrocid into uh, Desukan Kovagrigus. And uh, yes, I was correct. He tried to focus punch, it fails, and um, I'm just gonna get the mummy ability on him, which is nice. I might be able to pull off the mummy king, who knows. But before that, I am going to set up the trick room, because, you know, I wanna be faster than him, and I wanna just uh, break the sub first of all, which I'm going to do here with my shadow ball. Unfortunately, uh, this was pretty much my best option against this E wire, which is, you know, kinda sad. But uh, I just had to do it, you know, set up the trick room, which means that I won't really have time to set up any nasty plots, thus I won't be able to do any kind of sweeping in this case, you know, but uh, it's it's okay, Shadow Ball does a decent chunk, Evire actually does have a pretty decent spec D, I think, and here's a bit of min-max da damage variation, because, you know, the last Shadow Ball actually did a bit more than the previous one, <laughs> before that, but uh, you know, it's not able to KO. But uh, since I know the Trick Room is gonna wear out the next turn, I actually did my Calx right this time, I think. So what I'm going to do is switch into Slarking, and yes, Trick Room wears off, he's gonna switch out, I say no to that, boom, Pursuit. This is how you do the Mummy King by the book in normal circumstances, which is Pretty difficult to pull off and uh, really gimmicky, but you know, it's it's fun. This is how you get the mummy ability on uh, Slarking. And he actually fakes me out with Hitmonchan, which is cool, because now he's gonna get rid of his... Um, he's gonna get rid of his own Iron Fist ability, meaning this Mug Punch uh, won't do that much. Because, you know, before it was boosted by uh, Iron Fist, but no longer that is not the case. So I'm gonna set up a sub, because I really wanted to do the do the uh, sub punch with this locking because it's so awesome. <laughs> I just love this locking. Uh, this was one of the main reasons why I wanted to play RU back in the time because you can run uh, Mummy King in the RU tier and it's actually pretty decent as you may have witnessed from one of my previous battles long time ago. Some time ago, let's put it that way because yeah, it's not that long. Anyways, I digress and ramble later on. Uh, I really should have just used two returns, but uh, whatever. Now I go back into my Quillfish, because, you know, again I can wall him and set up a free layer of spikes, which is nice. So, in comes the uh, Rosalia, and uh, if I learned anything from Rosa Raids, these things uh, usually carry the sleep powder, so I'm gonna predict that and go into my uh, Charging Chuck, who is already poisoned thanks to my uh, Toxic Orb, so I can take the sleep powder and uh, you know just smack him back here with a payback and that actually does one shot him even though he's carrying the evi light but I do have the guts boost and you know since I'm slower it actually does get the double the power meaning it will one shot the Rosalia uh, anyways in comes Hitmonchan it doesn't quite die to spike so I go back into my Quillfish to absorb the hit once again and I'm just gonna, I think I just lay up my final layer of spikes. Yes, that is exactly what I do. And uh, he stays in, I don't know why, I guess just to die, because he doesn't really have anything better to do. 
So here he switches and he goes into his... Uh, it's not the wall corona, it's this thing, Venomoth. Now I'm gonna lay up a uh, Toxic Spike so he's not even able to... He's not even going to be able to absorb those because uh, he came in after my Toxic Spike. So that's cool. Here I'm just gonna um, sack my... Um, Slarking because it's not like... It's not really going to do anything anymore. I was able to do the Mummy King, but uh, you know, I don't think I can pull it off anymore. So I might as well sack this thing so that I can get a guaranteed save switch into my charging Chuck, who is still going to be able to have at least two hits left. I'm gonna fake him out, and he probably does not see the second priority move coming, which is the case, and I'm just gonna be able to KO him with a bullet punch. Which is nice, Fake out Bullet Punch priority really works out in this case. Especially it's nice against Venomots which are really common in RU. And and especially with the uh, you know guts boosted by uh, Toxic Orb, you can absorb those uh, sleep powders too. So anyways, in comes Duck Trio, who I'm just gonna Bullet Punch. I died to Toxic, and uh, he has Stealth Rocks, which is like, wow, you know... It's not like Duck Trio is gonna be forcing a lot of switches with Arena Trap. So, you know, I, I, I don't know why he has Stealth Rocks on Duck Trio. I guess he just had to have Stealth Rocks on something, but, you know, I, I, I don't know. But I digress. My Hariyama finally dies. I go into my Pharaoh Seed, because uh, pretty much all of my sweepers for, for this team are dead. Except for Kofagrigus, who is down to really low health, so I can't bring that in, because it would just die. So I only have my uh, defensive core left. So uh, I think he crit one EQ, but that's like whatever, I just kill him off finally. St stall him out a bit, and in comes uh, this Sharpedo, which I think is his last guy. He's just gonna, just gonna Ice Fang, I guess he doesn't even have any other better moves. But I'm just gonna leech him, leech it him, because you know that's actually yeah pretty much the easiest way I can take him out. And I think I'm just going to proceed to sack the half of my team just to you know, because I don't really have anything better to do. And yeah, Desukan dies to entry as anyway, so that's like yeah, I couldn't use that. So now I officially have only my defensive core left. One of them is my Rebecca Black, and uh, you know I'm just gonna bring out Rebecca because you know. She must die, cause you know it's not like she's gonna do anything else. And I was kind of hoping that, hoping to see if I could possibly survive one hit, but you know, it's not the case. Rebecca sucks, anyways. So uh, now I'm just gonna bring out the quailfish, and uh, he's gonna die to whatever residual damage is gonna go first. And I'm just gonna be a troll and use haste to get rid of his uh, speed boost, cause that's how I roll. So uh, that will turn out to be the game kind of weird at the end, like I said at the beginning. But uh, overall, it was a it was a nice match. So hope you hope you guys enjoyed. And um, also, what could I ramble about? Uh, the 100 battle. I actually did one interesting uh, match, uh, which I'm most likely going to use for it. Uh, it's kind of familiar for those who have uh, subscribed to me like long time ago. So uh, what I'm planning to do uh, for the 100 uh, battle is go kind of back to my roots, use uh, one really old team, really, really old team, back when why well, I had like 10 subs, uh, in Gen 5 style, and uh, you know, I had one battle with that team, and it actually turned out really interesting, so I'm thinking I'm most likely going to be using that. You guys can guess uh, what kind of team I'm going to be using for that. For that uh, special 100 battle if you feel like it, but uh, yeah, I think that will be all. Uh, oh wait, I yeah, I guess I could mention uh, uh, a while ago when I did my live stream, I had the uh, live streaming song. Many people liked it, so I actually uploaded it to my uh, backup account, MySpace TV. That's a kind of a pun for uh, MySpace. So anyways, if you like the song and if you would like to hear it again, it's available at my backup account. I guess I could leave a link for that in the description too. But yeah, that will be all for today. I will most likely see you guys with another battle on uh, Wednesday. So uh, until then, there will be random LP stuff possibly. So uh, yeah, until then, this is the Flaming Spade signing out. Peace.